Hi there, Gary Carroll here from Restore Solutions. I'm here to give you a tip about air movement. What do air movers do? Well, they blow the moisture from the surfaces of the material into the air. So, we have axial fans and centrifugal fans. So, where do we use which one? So, axial fans are much better at drying walls and structure. So, if you have your walls that are affected in a class two, let's say you've got uh, wet carpet, wet underlay, you've extracted the most you can with a really good extraction tool like an aqua helix, extracted that water out of the carpet and the underlay, and you're gonna to top down dry, these are the best fans. You can run these along the wall and around the corner. They will run usually every six to eight lineal meters you wanna put one of these fans. The difference is between a centrifugal air mover you want to put one every three to four linear meters. The reason being is because they're designed to go under carpet, not very good for drying structure. And what my goal is on every job is to dry the structure. I'm not there to dry the carpet, I dry the structure, I come back and go, oh look, whoops, I've dried the carpet. So the best thing to do is dry the structure. So this particular fan is not the best at drying the structure. So axial fans go a lot further blow way more air, and it travels further along the wall. Now, if I put this on a, on a wall at a 20 degree angle and walk down the wall, at about four meters, it's up here, right? At four meters, it's gone really high. It's starting at four meters, from there, four meters onwards, it starts going up the wall. Because the fan spins this way, and by the time it spins, and goes, it goes up. An axial fan spins this way, and it goes long. So as a tip for you, if you're drying structures, good to have an axial. If you're target drying, good to have a centrifugal. Hope that helps.